And then how about the addition? The great Tweedy Carter, Baylor men's basketball player, uh, director of player development. Hey, uh, Craig Smokey and also Paul here with us. What does that mean when you hear that title now? <laughs> man, it's a huge, huge blessing. Thanks for having me today, man. It's, it's, it's an awesome, been an awesome week. Uh, been a long week, you know, but uh, I'm I'm excited, um, you know, blessed, and and I'm I'm just happy to be a part of the BU family, um, you know, as as a coach now. What does it feel to to finally come off the road uh, playing ball and and, <laughs> and I mean, look, this was where you're headed, Tweety. You were you were always going to be a great right. coach, but uh, what does it feel like to to take the next step? Oh man, it, it feels amazing uh, to hear my daughter say, uh, "Daddy, you don't have to go. You don't have to go far away no more." It's, you know, to hear my kids, my wife, to 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 um, have me back home. You know, uh, for good, not for us. You know, not playing basketball, traveling overseas. You know, and things like that. It just feels amazing, and and God is really, really, really good. You know, because you know He know He knew you know what we needed as a family, and and He provided a way. Tweety, can I get some of that fresh Nike gear? <laughs> oh, for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, no, in, in all seriousness, uh, I mean, you did play overseas for a long time. I mean, just in terms of, of you know, this life-changing moment of getting into to coaching now, like how hard was that just the, the player side of you and, and just the, the travel? Do you think you're going to miss that? Like how much of a debate was that in your head? Or was, was it not much of a debate because of the opportunity and because you have been playing so long? Oh, mind you, right when I when I came home like two two months ago, almost three months ago, my wife was like, "Are you going? Excuse me, are you going to announce your retirement?" And I'm like, uh, "I'm not. I'm not ready for that right now. You know, I'm not ready to say it yet. You know, so to to, to play for so long, man, and have to walk away from it as a player was tough. Um, it was emotional. Um, you know, and and I, I cried about it. You know, because I'm I'm walking away from the game as a player and jumping into it as a coach. So I'm back a rookie again, you know, but to have all those years uh, of experience as a player, man, I, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, it was a, it, it, it made me grow up a little bit more, you know, traveling and seeing overseas, adjusting to different things. And, you know, to be right, to be where I'm at now, is just, it's just unbelievable feeling. It's just an unbelievable feeling. The reaction. I'm, I'm excited and happy. The reaction has been amazing, overwhelming. Tweety, I know that there are certain things you can or cannot do in the role you're in, but what will be more competitive, Tweety Carter the player or Tweety Carter the basketball coach? Well, the good thing, Tweety Carter as a player is over with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so me competing as a player, uh, nah, I'm not I'm not really into that. I'm, I'm, I'm really into – you know, growing as a coach, uh, especially with the with the family we have on the staff, man, the the, the coaches we have are amazing. You know, been all help. Um, you know, anytime I have a question, you know, they they always there for me to help me out. I'm looking forward to growing, just like I was as a player. I'm looking forward to growing as a coach. The same exact approach. Just now, I'm on the other side of the ball. You know, asking, we asked all three about, you know, what they thought of you as a coach. And one of the, I think it was John Jacob said that you've been a coach because you were a point guard since you were essentially in seventh grade. Do you feel that yeah. way a little bit? <laughs> um, you, you know, John, John Coach, Coach Jacob is, 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 is really a, a really great guy, man. Like, um, he's always happy when he comes to, to, the, to the gym. And, you know, to have him say that means a lot, you know, but just in general of me playing majority of all my life um, prepared me for this moment. You know, um, it's a moment that I'm, I'm looking forward to. I'm, I'm going to approach it with confidence. I'm going to approach it with the will to learn, the will to get better. Again, just like I was as a player, you know, and, and, it, and with that, you know, I, I get to learn from, you know, one of the best programs in the world. So, you know, what better feeling than that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tweety, uh, how far back does this go? Was this something that was sort of impromptu, or are you talked to, to Scott Drew at all about like, hey, one day, you know, I would l I'd love to be on. Like, how did that kind of all work? And and so, you know, love to hear that part. And then once he called you, what was your reaction? I mean, you know, for me, I always wanted to be a part of the the, the Baylor staff. You know, always, but I never I never uh, voiced it too much um, because, you know, I didn't look at Baylor uh, to, to hire me on. I looked at Baylor as 
a family and, you know, something that a program that helped change my life, turn me into a man, you know, help me with, um, be better prepared to be a better father, better husband, you know, and things like that. Right. And when you come back, you, you have, you know, you have the guys that's here and, and all it was was to help and give back to Bill a bit of, because of what they did for me and my family, you know? So just to get, just to get this opportunity was a blessing, but no, cause you, you know, cause you don't promise anything. Mm-hmm. Um, he never promised me that I would be on the staff or anything. You know, I just, I always came, I always made myself available um, whenever they needed me to be here and, you know, hard work do pay off and God is good of, of, of the loyalty part, you know, stand down no matter what, because it never was about a job for me with Baylor. You know, it was always to, to help build the program, to continue to build a program. And I mean, as you see on the interview, um, I said it, you know, God brought me here to be a part of a special program and, you know, look where I'm at now. And I meant that back in 2000, you know, whatever, whenever mm-hmm. I said it, but 2010, you know, to have that interview and to be here now, it, I mean, it says everything. So what was that phone call like? Did, was it a phone call that Scott Drew gave you? Yeah, he, I mean, he called me um, uh, at 8 o'clock at night and just told me I had to come to the gym the next day, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and – when I came to the gym, you know, he told me, make sure I bring a suit. I'm like, uh, I don't have a suit, coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, I went to I went to get that uh, immediately, you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I had the interview. And, you know, again, no one never promised me anything. I know a lot of people was up for the job, you know, um, and God just made a way. And I'm just thankful um, that, it, that, that the Baylor program and the staff chose me. Jared was on with us yesterday in our last hour, and he mentioned that he's already tried to start giving you some advice on this Nike product and how the veterans yes, expect it. And he then said <laughs> that you are going to have some guidelines, some rules that you're going to have yeah, to. Yeah. So you've already started jumping right into this, huh? Yes, I have to. I have to. Everybody got to come back. You have to come back and see us, baby. <laughs> you know, we, we it's, it's been about the family. It's going to continue to be about the family and, that's what that's what it's about for me is, is continuing to to build a Baylor uh, program through the past players as well, you know, because if the more we can come back and give back to these younger guys, the stronger the program will be. And and I think that's that's the that's the beauty in it. Um for me, and it's been like that for years, to come back and say hello to these guys, compete with them and, and, and guide them in ways that, you know, sometimes everybody you know, other people may not, you know, and to have that um feeling and, and to do that is just again it's just amazing you know it's amazing yeah Tw- Tweety's not running amazon.com he's <laughs> he you you can he doesn't deliver to you you come and you can pick it up i like that yeah they have to come yeah to i come. like that like hey listen i got a big stack of stuff for you it's sitting right here when you come yeah yeah, yeah. there you go yeah. the, the present players are looking forward to, to meeting all the guys so they have to come back we have it laid out for them Tweedy Carter, the Director of Player Development of Scott Drew's staff at Baylor Basketball, joins us again, is with us on Sikkim 365 Radio. How much does your, and I don't know exactly what you can or cannot do when it comes to looking, scouting, recruiting, I know there's certain rules, or even practicing against, but how much does your connection to Louisiana help with what you can do uh, when it comes to what they're trying to find the talent in that great state? Oh, the best thing is, you know, I'm from there. Um, But, you know, I have, you know, my high school coach there, too. At the same time, Timmy Bird, who's done a great job of, uh, you know, getting us here, you know. Um, And, you know, that's I think that's the the best part is that we 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 had, what, three players, four players now uh, and more um, that came from my area. And, of course, Lace Dunn from Monroe. Um, You know, Louisiana is is overlooked, I think, in, 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 you know, I feel like everybody should should recruit more in Louisiana, you know. Um, but look, we for sure are going to be down there. <laughs> Not much of me right now, you know. But the coaches will for sure continue to do what they do, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited, man. I'm I'm real excited uh, for this process to continue to to get better. I'm I'm excited to continue to learn learn rules, <laughs> a lot of rules, you know. But mm-hmm. um, it, it that's the beauty in it is making sure, and that's what Baylor been about, making sure we do things the right way. Tweedy, uh, what does it say about Scott Drew? You lose a, a legend in Jerome Tang for a job that, of yeah. course, 
he earned and, and others that he could have had along the way. But he leaves and everybody, even Aditya Mahatra and Ty Beard, among all of you, and then you're added. What does it say, the recruiting pitch to keep that staff together when sometimes when someone leaves, there is attrition? Um, you know, and, and, and without Coach Tang um, t- uh, accepting that job in K-State, which is a huge blessing for him and his family, I'm so happy for him. I, I mean, he's a great, great guy, man. And, um, you know, they, he's done a great job for the Baylor program, and I'm just excited for him. But this don't happen without him making a decision. You know, and I'm just thankful that, you know, it was me to, to, to be in this position to not replace him because that's, that's one person, you know, that it was very unique um, in what he do. Uh, he brought the best out of players, you know, whether they liked it or not, he brought the best out of them. And that's what it's, that's what it's going to be about for me, to make sure we do everything in our powers to, to bring the best out of our guys on and off the court. Um and and that's what it's going to continue to be about. And I'm I'm just happy to 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 to, to feel his to, to to get this opportunity to um, hopefully help the way he did, you know, and uh, in my own way, you know. Um, and I'm I'm just excited. You've had the starring role of Ode to Joy, and mm-hmm. uh, and now you are a part of the Baylor men's basketball staff. You announced your retirement as well, an incredible career all around the world. You got to pinch yourself a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I mean the other day I, I had to share some tears. I told my wife, like, this really, this, I'm just happy. Feel like I got drafted to play in the NBA. <laughs> you know, so for me, it's just, it's just, it's just a huge, huge blessing. I can't stress that enough. How blessed I am. How thankful I am. You know, the coaching staff, the the program the players, you know, the past coaches. I mean, and, and, and you know, you, you, you look and say, well, family, you know, they guys that's been here years ago still consider family, still, you know, I can call and talk to. So for me, it's just keeping those relationships, building those relationships and making Baylor that much stronger. You know, I think it's, it's, it's what it's going to be about. And that's what it's, you know, that's what it's been about, and that's what it's going to continue to be about is just building this family up to, to uh, strengthen this program more and more hey every man, year. Everybody on staff yesterday, thanks, Tweet. I know you got to go. Said they needed somebody else who could walk into the arena at practice, whatever, with a smile on his face. And we know that you're competitive. <laughs> we know that you're going to drive them, push them. But we know you've got that Tweety Carter smile. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. He's going to be able to not have to worry about what time zone you're on. We know where you are. Yeah. We know where yes, you sir. are. Yes, sir. You call me anytime. Thank you, Tweet. Anytime. I love you guys. Thank you for having me, man. I can't wait to talk to you more, uh, especially when the season get going. And we looking forward to it. Sick and Bears. Yes, sir. Tweety Carter, Demon Tweety Carter, the great, the first McDonald's All American, the one who started the run towards Baylor's unbelievable run, even when there were sometimes years that didn't quite end the way everyone thought. And uh, here he's now a part of that staff. With Scott Drew and company, and, and it's it would be it's akin to Robert Griffin the third joining the football staff. No, it's it a good really point. is because point. as beloved a Baylor basketball player as there ever was or will be uh, is Tweety Carter.